First, let's create a new project. Clicking this button opens Unit Editor. This time, I will drag and drop KVXL E02 here because Protocol Studio for Ethernet is used. Now, setting KVXL E02 starts. Change the IP address if needed. Set this Protocol Studio to used. When Protocol Studio is used, the number of relays and data memory occupied by KVXL E02 increases. So click Yes on this dialog window. The increase in occupied data memory varies depending on the Protocol Studio setting. In default, 160 commands can be set. By changing the setting, setting up to 320 commands become available. In addition, when this allocation is changed to UG, buffer memory, the occupied data memory can be reduced. In this video, I will continue with the default setting. Protocol Studio can be set by double clicking this menu. First, I will explain how to communicate with a model for which performance is verified beforehand at Keyence. In this case, the communication is performed with a robot made by FANUC. Select the maker and the model. Then enter IP address and port number preset in the robot. This time, the IP address and the port number have been set on the robot side beforehand. So, I will just click OK. When OK is clicked, the registered commands are displayed. The frequently used commands have been registered as default. Other commands are also provided. The user can add other commands from the pull down menu. In addition, commands not provided in the pull down menu also can be set manually. To change the IP address and the port number first set, click Property. There are two types of communication formats. One is cyclic which automatically communicates, and another one is event which communicates only when the user specifies, like this. In case of cyclic, the unit automatically communicates, so you can see that a start relay is not needed. In event mode, the communication starts when a user turns on the start relay. So the communication starts when the relay displayed here is turned on. Let's see the command settings one by one. Selecting a command and clicking this button shows the details of the command setting. The send data format and receive data format are set in advance. There might be two or more. Receive frame. This is because some devices return a normal response when a normal command is sent and an error response when an abnormal command is sent. Some devices have several response types. For such cases, Receive Frame supports multiple settings. This device called Receive Verify is used to check which format of which frame is matched to the data. When one is stored in this device, it can judge that the data with a format set to Receive Frame 1 is received. Now, let's make a program to communicate. First, let's write a program to turn on the operation permission relay which is necessary for Protocol Studio to function. This line is always required. In case of the cyclic communication, communication becomes available with only this one line program. In case of the event communication, write a program to turn on the request relay. There is a function which automatically generates that program. Open the Protocol Studio settings screen and drag the tab with a the mouse. Then, 
you can separate the protocol studio settings screen only. Drag the command number of this event communication by right clicking and drop on the ladder program. This will display the types of automatically generated programs. In this case, the program for event execution is automatically generated, so click here. Like so, an execution trigger is set as an unregistered variable. The name of this variable can be changed at user's discretion. In this state, the variable is still an unregistered variable. So I will right click and select this menu and import as a variable. That's it for the necessary programming. Let's transfer the program to the actual unit and check the performance. Let's monitor and check if the communication has been actually established. First, I will execute this event communication. This event communication is the communication to read the robot on time. I will open the Protocol Studio settings screen. While the Set Event Communication command is selected, let's right click and select Registration Monitor window. While all related devices are registered, Registration Monitor window is displayed. When this trigger is turned on, values such as on time are stored to these devices. Now, let's actually turn on. Like this, values are easily read. Next, let's check the commands to read the coordinate and current value set to cyclic. This is the command. In the same way as before, by right-clicking and opening, Registration Monitor window, all related devices can be registered. However, because there are so many related devices, I will check the coordinate and current value of the first axis only at this time. Therefore, I will register the devices manually. On this menu, I will start, Registration Monitor window. Here. I will register the coordinate of the first axis. In addition, the current value of the first axis is also registered. This is two words signed integer data, so the display format is changed. Now you can see that the values are stored. Clicking this icon on, Registration Monitor window starts up, Real-Time Chart Monitor. You can check the values in a waveform. Let's operate the robot while, Start Tracing is clicked. As seen here, the values acquired via Protocol Studio can be monitored as a waveform.